What's up everybody? Happy Friday morning. This is so exciting. I have a special video for you today of something that you know I wasn't expecting to share but oh man I'm just so excited about it. I couldn't sleep. So I learned about a technology called Jade. Have you guys heard about Jade? Oh man. Okay. I want to share this uh, screencast that I did for you real quick uh, last night and um, and I hope you like it. I want to use Jade quickly in a few other videos that I'm going to be making shortly. So I want to get you guys prepared and ready for that. So let's watch this video and get awesome together. All right, let's go. So this is Jade and one of the nice things about it is that it brings an entirely new syntax to your HTML document. Now, um, a new syntax, why do we need that? Well, it's kind of like how, you know, you guys know very well that I love SAS and I use SAS all the time and I really prefer the way it looks and feels to traditional CSS. We're getting rid of the curly brackets, we're getting rid of the unnecessary semicolons at the end of each line and we're just making it a, a much more easily read document. So if I inherit a SAS document from somebody else it's really easy to scan and to understand everything. In a similar way that's what we're looking at with with Jade right here. So here's a quick a quick tour um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to work Jade into your workflow really easily. And again, I just learned about Jade last night. I've kind of been aware of it, but I never, I never thought that it's something that I wanted to invest my time in, but I was looking at a few different things and preparing for another video that I'm gonna be releasing shortly. And I came across and I said, well, that's interesting. Maybe I'll just give that a quick shot. And as soon as I started working with it, like the magic, I just got so excited about it and as I said I couldn't sleep and in the morning I went in and started talking to one of my colleagues about it and he got excited about it too. He goes, I know I've been using it for this project and that project and I'm like, can we just bring it into our main application? It's so great. Anyway, so I, I am getting derailed by my excitement right now. Um, so this is what we're kind of going to be looking at. So in a similar way that SAS relies on indention and um, nesting to get the right output in their code, so does Jade. So for example, uh, HTML here and then head and then title. Actually, let me just get started. CodeKit. CodeKit is a free download and you have a 10 day trial. I'm using the trial right now. I've never used CodeKit 2 before, even though I've given it, a, given a copy away on uh, dev tips. I'm a, I'm a fan of CodeKit 1 and I just kind of decided I'd try CodeKit 2 while I'm at it now. and. And I, I really like it. I was using it last night. And when, when my trial is over, I definitely will make that purchase. So uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So I just dropped the, that little folder on right here. And all I have in this project is an index.html, which you see that little target. That means it's the output file. So index.jade is like, right, you know, like just like I said right here, an output file is going to be index.html. So jade will be worked on by CodeKit and, and uh, index.html will be the result. So let's go over here to my editor and what I'm using is uh, Coda 2, though the same one that's going to be announced the winner of who gets the free copy of Coda 2. Um, I'm using my copy right now and I love it. Um, I'm using Coda 2 and using the split screen feature that I showed you guys in this Monday's video. And I'm going to write code in, the, I'm going to write Jade code in the left here and it's going to output in the right and I'm going to show you how simple it is and easy to write really um, easy to understand read and editable markup uh, the outputs to, to plain and simple uh, HTML and what's cool about Jade and similar to SAS is that you can start easy and start you know slow you don't have to do the the, the um, more complicated things which eventually in include JavaScript and kind of like importing data sets and things like that but you can just use it to write nicer code right off the bat and I'll show you how to do that right now. So the first thing you're going to do with any HTML document is declare a doc type and that's really really easily done in uh, Jade. So I'm going to say doc type and then HTML and I'll hit save and uh, CodeKit will do its thing and output the correct HTML tag of doc type HTML. That's the HTML5 doc, tap, doc type. <clears throat> now I'm gonna write HTML because that is the tag that's gonna wrap everything in HTML. So now you see that what I wrote has nothing else. It's just four characters. There's no you know open and closing tags or anything like that. 
And what Jade has done, or what, what CodeKit has done, is taken that Jade document and rendered um, an accurate uh, representation of HTML, what I've written here. So next, what if you think about what's inside of an HTML, you have two tags. Generally, there's going to be the head and there's going to be the body. Um, now, I notice that I've nested these in one level. When you nest in one level, it's saying that make this tag a child of this tag, right? So let me save it, and you can see that CodeKit has rendered this jade properly. The head is now inside of the HTML, and the body is a sibling of the head together inside of the HTML. Now we're going to go one another level here, nesting, and we're going to say the title which is another tag that we need in our HTML document. And the question now is how do I write inside of this title? Because I want to I want to say that, you know, this this website has a title. So what you do is you write a space after the tag name and then you can just write your text. So I'll write a uh, Jade intro and save and it fills in uh, the content of that tag. So what's happening here is it's just taking the first keyword of this string on this new line that's nested, making that into a tag, respecting the space, that's how it knows when the tag is done, and then taking the content and throwing it inside that tag. So for example, if I had a dev tips, tips so if the first word was dev tips, all right, that's, that would be interpreted as the actual HTML tag when it's output. So I'm going to save, and you can see that we have a new, we've invented a new HTML tag called Dev Tips, and uh, and the content is title Jade Intro. And we don't want that. We just want the title to be Jade Intro. So we'll use uh, we'll use the proper formatting there. So other things that we need to do um, in our HTML head, we have to do meta tags meet tags, <laughs> meta tags. Now when you're going to do a meta tag, for example, if we want to do a char set or a character set um, tag, uh, if I do a space and start typing, it will be, you know, a child of, or it will be the content of the meta tag. So if I want to do the attributes, like for example, an anchor needs a href, right? So a meta tag needs uh, the the attributes of, of char set for it to be valid. Now how you do that is you put a paren and inside of the paren you, you write the attribute, in this case a char set, equals and quotes. This is just like, you know, I mean if this was an HTML tag you would say like this, meta uh, char set, right? And you'd kind of, you'd go on like that. So it's very similar except for now you're putting it inside these paren and um, and that's how you're making that work. So uh, the char set the char set is going to be utf-8 so we can know what character set we're using in this document. And we're going to do another meta tag. Um, this time we're going to do the name is equal to viewport and we want this to be a responsive document. So now we're at the point where we have we need to actually write two attributes. Now in HTML, you just kind of write attribute and then equals and then quote and then space and then attribute equals quote. In um, in Jade, for a few reasons, you want to put this comma between your attributes. It's not complicated, keeps things clean, but, uh, but it is necessary. So the next attribute inside of the meta tag is going to be content. And that's going to be equal to uh, width uh, equals device dash width and um, comma initial scale dash scale equal to one. Great. So that's a responsive meta tag. And I, I put it as just side scrolling here so we don't get confused with the uh, the indentions and I have the text blown up so it's easier for you guys to read. I, I usually don't code in 24 point type, but you know, c'est la vie. So link is the next tag we wanna do and we wanna pull in a style sheet. So I'll say rel equal style sheet and comma and now I'm gonna get the href for the style sheet that I'm trying to pull in and in this case, I want to pull in uh, Bootstrap. So I'm going to run over to getbootstrap.com, getting started, 
and there's a quick link to their CDN, which is a really easy way to start, and that's gonna be this URL. Ugh. I forgot how to mouse today. I'm gonna to grab that URL right there, put it in my href, and save. Now I've got the meta tag, I've got the the meta uh, the viewport, which helps me have a responsive website, and then the link um, to the uh, Bootstrap CDN, right? Fantastic, fantastic. Things are looking good, and look how look how nice and and clean this is. It's really easy to read. HTML head title meta link, you know, done. And I would probably link link another uh, style sheet, you know, my personal style sheet that was rendered through SAS, but I'm just gonna leave it at uh, Bootstrap because we're not gonna be styling anything. I'm just showing you how uh, Jade will render to usable HTML, um, and it's really simply done. Okay, now we're inside of our body, and um, something that you'll see a lot inside of uh, a a oh, bootstrap website, you'll see a div with the class equals container, right? And uh, remember how this works is you write the name of the tag, and then in the paren, you write the attribute name and then its value, just like that. Now, there is another way, an, a simpler way to do this very same thing. <sighs> And I really, really like how they do it. So there is an idea, and the idea is that 90% of like the kind of structural HTML tags that you're going to be writing are div tags. I hope we can just all agree that it's somewhere between 70 and 90% of the tag that you're going to write are div tags. And um, Jade is taking that in account, and it's allowing you to write a shorthand. And it's very, very similar to what we're already used to with CSS. If I just write the CSS class name dot container save, you can see the output is div class container. So it's assuming if I write dot container here, it's assuming that I wanted a div with the class name of container. Similarly, we can get a um, we can get a, a an ID, a, a div with an ID of container, right? Look at that. So instead of writing this, right, instead of writing this kind of like gobbledygook, I just wrote one word with a class inside of it. And then, and then instead of writing things inside of the container, you know, and then you have to kind of like nest it and, you know, get it lined up right and make sure that th these things are like, make sure that you close the tag. In Jade, I'm just gonna run up and I'm gonna say, hello. I'm gonna get rid of this ID. Get rid of this one too. Hello. And, uh, ooh, actually I made a mistake here. So this is interesting, what Jade did was it interpreted what I wanted to be literally uh, a, a div with a class container and the child of that to be a class of, or not, sorry, a tag of hello, similar to what I showed you over here when I wrote, I wrote dev tips. Um, so I messed up. What I needed to do was go on the same line of container and use that space just like we did here and press save. So I'm just learning this right now, guys, too. I mean, I messed with it for a few hours last night before I went to bed and, and that's where we're at. So anyway, so um, div class container and then hello inside of that div. And that's because that's how you do that. Now, this will be a lot easier when you write P and then like some lorem save. And I have a paragraph tag now here with a bunch of lorem ipsum in it. Or you could do like, uh, you could do uh, H3 head line. And now you have a, a H3 tag with a headline in it, right? It's so simple. And like, look at how succinct and clean and easy to read this is compared to kind of this uh, less attractive uh, strings of text. So this is the beauty of Jade. And this is not 
the end of it not even close it, it, it does a lot more awesome things but these are the very basics that you can do right now to get started today and um, I want to share with you more in fact I will be sharing with you more because I'll be using Jade in the uh, in the upcoming videos that I'll be making soon in fact I think that I, I well in fact I hope the one that I can make in the next two days to share with you on Monday is using uh, the Jade I really like it I hope you guys can try it it's free to use I mean the technology is free if you want to use CodeKit like I'm using you can download a copy of CodeKit right now for free also Prepros is a free um, download and you can you can run Jade through Prepros or CodeKit and uh, both of those applications are free to use for a trial period and then um, your trial will run out and you'll need to buy it. They're about $30. Uh, alternatively, you can l um, use your command line and install Jade through Node Package Manager and uh, it's, it's pretty easily done. It's a very standard kind of thing to do there. But me, I'm not really a command line kind of guy, although I do use it sometimes. I'm just babbling now. Jade is awesome, and uh, we will see you guys in a few days. I'm excited to announce the winner of Coda 2 on Monday's video, and also share a few other things with you then. Until then, keep on hacking. Take care, guys.